I wanted to mention that our very own Tamara is a guest judge tonight on the Food Network's Christmas Cake War. So, yes. so, cool. so much fun. Yes. yes. Oh. What was it like eating those sweet treats? Yes. You guys, I was in heaven. As yeah. you guys know, I love to bake mm -hmm. and I love sweets. And Jonathan Bennett, who's the host of, of the show, he's he awesome. is so much fun. Awesome. Yeah. He makes everything just fun. Oh, oh. Awesome. It was awesome. When can we check it out, Tam? You can, you can see me uh, judge Christmas Cake Wars tonight on the Food Network at 9 oh, p.m. Tonight? Eastern. Yeah. That yeah. was so exciting. Yeah. 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 And you won Cupcake Wars, so I it know. should be a piece of cake. You ah, that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. I can't wait. <laughs> Let's get into some girl chat. In the yes. state of Illinois, yes, is making sure that their hairstylists do more than just make you look beautiful. Mm -hmm. A new law will make them receive training outside of their standard technique courses. Now, this law will require them to attend a one-hour class in recognizing signs of domestic violence every two years when they renew their hairdresser's license. Now, effective January 1st, 2017, wow. hairstylists they won't have to report signs of domestic abuse, but instead they will be offered protection from lawsuits should they decide to go to the authorities. Now, since hairstylists can be confidants to their clients when they are in their chairs, this new law could help and save a lot yeah. of women. Yeah. Yeah. This yeah. makes me feel real good because, you know, um, I think anybody that works closely with clients, like mm -hmm. masseuses, things like that, people that can actually see th the body, yeah. um, mm -hmm. I think this type of law will help to protect them if they feel that there's something's not right. You yes. Know? I, I really hope that this is something that explodes in Illinois and actually goes across the U.S. to yes. all beauty schools because, no, really, yes. Shout out to the glam squads because as you guys know, when you see in like celebrity pictures and things like that, glam is always right beside them. Yeah. We are really yep. tight with our glam squad. Super close. Your glam really knows everything yeah. about you. They hear the phone calls you go through. They see how you come in, what you've dealt with. And so um, I, I just remember being a stylist back in the day. Mm -hmm. I had a client once that I, I, I sensed going, was going through some things, yeah. you know? But you have a professional level mm -hmm. where you don't want to intervene too much because you could lose your job if you step in yeah. in the wrong way. Right. But at the same time, you don't know enough of the situation, but you just pick, pick up that something's wrong. Right. So this is really essential because a lot of women will not speak up. Yeah, yeah that so is this true. Is easy, People and I think, I think it's okay to break the code when you're trying to help someone. Yeah. Or if you're going to save someone's life, yeah. go ahead and just do it. So I think this is great. Yes. I also yeah. think that it's important, though, that I think, I think this works only if that woman is, like, ready to ready. make that change, though. Yes, that's what I which mean. Which is a difficult place to be in because I think, you know, if she gives you the right, obviously, maybe not going through text messages or not being able to actually contact the authorities themselves, if they give you the right to be like, can, can you help me? Can you go seek out help for me and find a way to help me? Then that's cool. I, I think it becomes a little difficult and complicated if you uh, go against that person's trust. Well, I think... And, they, and they're is, not ready to actually make that change. But I think this is a more for if right. the authorities come to you as a mm -hmm. hairdresser and say, hey, um, do you Did think you know something? about right. this? Right, so yeah. you Got won't it. be... So that client patient or client privilege is not... You won't get a lawsuit. So I think yes. it's yes. more about that. Yeah. So if the privacy. authorities come to you... Yes. Right. Yeah, yeah so it. basically, if you know someone who is a victim of domestic abuse, here's one clear-cut pla place to get help. The National Domestic Violence Hotline. It's a phone number. Get this down. It's 1-800-799-SAFE. Help a sister out there. Help a brother yes. out there. Yep. Let's keep each other locked. Good. Protect each other. Yes. Oh, awesome. I'm I awesome. love that. that. Now, as a recently married lady, <laughs> I know all too well... <laughs> I know all too well the need... <laughs> of a bride and can appreciate the support of bridesmaids and maid of honors. Oh my God, they're so essential. But actress Jennifer Lawrence told Vanity Fair in their current issue that she is over being a bridesmaid. Wait, I'm like wondering, does that mean she wants to be the bride? Hmm. <laughs> well, Jennifer says, weddings rock, but I will never be a bridesmaid again. She also said there should be a bridesmaids union. I have been a bridesmaid four times, she says, and if anyone asks me again, I'm going to say no, and I do appreciate the ask. 
Somebody had a terrible wedding that she was a part of. Well, probably right? because it's her, and you know her. You know, right now a lot of Crazy people schedule. may ask her, you know, yeah. because yeah. she's Jennifer Lawrence. So but, now she has to turn. Yeah, but the whole point of being a bridesmaid, it's really not about you. It's about the bride. Yeah. You helping yeah. the bride. Okay. And four times. Four times. I can understand 27 times, like 27 dresses. You remember yes, that movie? Yes, yes, yes. That's yeah. a lot. I can see where she's coming from, but still. You're nah. saying four times, but even one bridezilla is one bridezilla too yeah, somebody much. Somebody traumatized Let's be real. Her for Some sure. of your good friends, you know that they can be the worst when they're getting married. Look. And by yeah. the way, being a bridesmaid, not everybody has the account Jennifer Lawrence has. It right. costs a coin. Yeah, yes. it really does. You can, I will say this. If she was in my wedding, I would feel some type of way right now. I'd be like, dang, did we do something wrong to you? Why yeah. do you feel like that? See, I understand her, though. Right? I've, been in, I've been a bridesmaid enough to see that sometimes those responsibilities, they go far. What are these she people said making never. you do? She you said are never, bride, though. She said never. What if her best friend, Amy Schumer, she's dating this guy, right? What if she gets married and she asks her, that's like probably, a really she said friend. no. She said she's gonna say no. I mean, I don't care if it's just the bridesmaids. I've been the host. I've been, you know, <laughs> the, the DJ, the, DJ, the, the MC. The MC it's the like, flower girl. I'm done. Yeah. This was the last one. I'm tired of it. Are you it's serious? Too much. You did it's such too a much job, pressure. Though. It's too no, because you know what? Okay, I'm gonna put it out here. Uh -oh. Oh. It's the first time I'm telling you this. I did not have fun because I was working too much. And I wanted I to have that. fun when I was in Paris. And I had to sit here and had a responsibility of taking on to your reception. That was my gift to Yo, you. She was we got MC. it done, but I didn't have fun. I wanted to turn up, too, and I couldn't turn up. It's true. I did it's take true. care of you, Lana. Yeah. I tried to take care of you. I sent you cake. I yeah, sent she you kept wine. sending me stuff, though. I sent you some more liquor. But it's not the same because, you know, when you had that responsibility, I had the responsibility of making sure that I announced them correctly. Yeah, I had true. to do all the dances. Yeah. I had to bring them up. I had to make sure Jeannie wasn't going off script when we did the games. I had to make sure they cut the cake. I did yeah. the whole reception, which I just want you to know no. I enjoyed doing. And I so appreciated you. But doing this is the last one I'm doing, okay? Well, I'm trying to help you. Yeah. 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 Do you remember I tried to help? So I tried yes. to help a little bit, and you took over, Lonnie. What, so which one was that? that? I don't know. I was, I it I'm was sorry. real dicey. If you know, we're going to keep was... it real, real, Tamara. What? Yeah, you may have tried to help. Let her know. But you were twisted. Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? The most you were helping her, you basically had her as a backboard when you were dancing on her. <laughs> hey, yeah. I was all you were fun doing. and working at the same time. But wait, you guys. Why, what are these people doing to these bridesmaids that makes them so, okay, I get it, you didn't get to have a good time, you was working, I get that part. But as a bridesmaid, what could you possibly be doing? I've had right? a bride who practically relied upon me to plan the entire wedding or anything that went wrong in the middle of the night. But girl, I gained five pounds, so you can go get my dress no, and let it out. Like that type of like, stuff. But did she, she have a maid, maid of honor? Yes. But did she, she have a maid, maid of honor? Did she have a matron of honor? The, were, were there more than one bridesmaid? I mean, yeah, I don't know if you know. What? I am more responsible than any maid of honor that okay, a bride I, could have. I, okay. I so I get called upon, and I like it. I mean, okay. it's, it's, it's an honor, but it's, it's, you can't say no to yeah, the bride. Yeah, after you're doing one, two, three, four, then you're like, we're, we're done. Hey, have you been you do anything else outside Yes, you made me hold that heavy train of yours. Oh, my gosh. I'm, it was I an emergency. You. I laced you up, and you got me so scared. You guys, she had this tiny zipper, and Adrian's waist was like next to nothing. So I'm just making sure, because if that zipper breaks, no, I almost had a heart attack. Yeah. <laughs> because what happened was her designers couldn't get over there. Yeah. So we ended up taking over, and we yeah. couldn't find the veil. The veil was lost, and the I was tearing up. The veil was missing up. people. I was, Housekeeping. I had to my try veil. to make a veil. And I we, was tripping. Yes. And meanwhile, I, you got to keep her pressure. like calm, like. No, everything's good. Everything's yeah. good. Yeah. But I was in the <laughs> other room. Yeah. We yeah, was cutting it was up good. the veil in the yes. other room. Okay. She didn't know. Have you ever been in a wedding that yes. you felt like, I'm sad I signed <laughs> up to be a bridesmaid, other than carrying my train? <laughs> no, I didn't feel that way, honestly, Adrian. I what? was glad to serve you. I oh, really thank was. You. Okay. 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 Any, any, any I was. Time you were Tomorrow. A How yes. many times have you been Tomorrow. Moving on as Tomorrow. so long as okay. we're on the topic of marriage. <laughs> Now, what were you gonna say, Lonnie? What? Tamara? Yes. Tamara, say it, Lonnie, you say it. You know, we had to kind of coax you, because let me tell y'all, 
Tamara looks hot, okay? Yo. Tamara knew she looked she hot. She was killing her. Then she had that. For her. For her. What's your point? She had her. And so, that. so I was on the elevator with the train, and, and I kept stepping on her dress. And I was getting nervous because it was so heavy. And what and did so I then, do? And so then, you know, she said, somebody's got to help me. And I was like, somebody got to help me because it's heavy. <laughs> and so I looked over at Tam, and Tam was looking like, I'm about to go sit down, right? <laughs> And so then she <laughs> said, see, I know this old, because I remember, because I was the so... the moment I knew and I was, you... And she said, you know, Tam, I know you want to sit down, so, you know, you just go sit down. And I'm thinking, shut up. Let her carry the train That's with me. That's what I'm saying. And so then she looked, and she thought about it, and she said, Adrian, I am at your service, whatever you need. Thank yes, you. Yes. You remember that one? I do, too. I remember. Thank I remember you. that. Well, as long as we are on the topic of marriage... <laughs> Once you do tie the knot, there's a big decision for you and your spouse to make when it comes to the holidays. Mm -hmm. Who parents are we gonna go to? Or even more stressful, whose parents are staying with us? Mm -hmm. This can get quite nerve wracking during the season when everybody wants to be with you or wants you and your family to come see them. How do you decide? I know for us, it, it wasn't an easy decision. <laughs> um, there were uh, lots of tears. Why? Um, tears? Yeah, only because in our family, we, we made uh, the, the, the women of, of both the families decide what they wanted to do, and they both decided that Thanksgiving was the most important holiday for them, and my mom was like, oh, hell no. And then Judy was like, oh, hell no. They both wanted that particular you know, holiday. So now, because of it, we have to oscillate back and forth, and my mom, my first Thanksgiving with the Housleys, it didn't go so well, because my mom was so used to me being with, with her and the family. So I cried because I love the Housleys, but the food was a little different over there. And I also cried because I just, hey, I'm being honest, and also, I just, I wasn't with, I wasn't with my yeah. family, my mom, my sister, yeah. you know, so it was something new for me. Should've brought but, some salt and pepper, that'll help it. <laughs> Sriracha, some adobo, it. some Lowry's, and some sriracha. I have learned. A little sriracha. I have learned. Man. This will be my fifth year. But we <laughs> we we worked it out. Okay. So now we oscillate Thanksgivings, and we have Christmas earlier with the Housleys, and I always have Christmas with my mom. It, 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 so it so works Christmas Eve out. with the Housleys, Christmas Day with your with, family. With my mom. That is yes. awesome. That's good. Yeah. Don't work them out. Compromise. It's Very important. mature of you, girl. It's important. Yeah. But it was it was difficult. What are you gonna do? Okay, so this is your first Thanksgiving as a married woman. Yeah, okay. who are you gonna go with? <laughs> okay, so I I am super duper close to my family, right? And I don't know if it's just maybe the men I date. They're like men, like my my husband. My husband is like <laughs> yes, Sam, one more time, girl. My husband is like a like a man, man. Yeah. So. He's not very like attached in that sort of way. Like he left the nest early. Like he's like so he's cool a life with, with being with your family. So he's totally cool with being with my family, yes. and I love that. Your family yeah, is sweet. so Do they welcoming. Have, does he have nieces and nephews? Well, well they'll be with like we're so like they everybody kind of comes to where you are. Where I am, yeah. yeah. Oh. My mom does a phenomenal Christmas party, you guys. It's a tented event with chandeliers. It's like oh, formal. Nice. It's phenomenal, and we have a great time. Well, like, yeah. You know what? Here are some suggestions to help you deal with juggling families. Now, when your parents give you a guilt trip because you aren't spending as much time with them as, you know, they like, try not to be defensive, mm -hmm. okay? They are not judging your ability to juggle everybody. They just want to see you. Yeah. You know, and I had to learn that with my mother. Yeah. My mother just wanted to see me, oh. but she lives in Detroit, so, you know, I, now I have to make it a priority, especially since she's getting older, you yeah, know? Yeah, that's mm -hmm. so you important. Know? And remember, phone calls are big. Make sure you yeah. call them often yes. during the holidays if you're unable to see them or Skype, yes. you know, now I got her cell phone. She thinks yeah. she, you know, fake timing <laughs> it and everything. You, you know? always got to call. They hold it against you. Yeah. Elders, yeah. Will, grandma will remember if you don't give her a shout out. Mm -hmm. Got to call them. And last but never least, find time to spend time that with your true. parents throughout the year, not just yeah. on the holidays, you guys. Yeah. All those moments yeah. count. That is Why a hang out one. with my mama? Yeah, so that is a good one. Yeah. But what you said about compromise, 
Yeah. yeah. Is everything like if you wanted me to go over there, I would more than love to. But like Chris, his brother, and all of them, they're gonna they're gonna come to New York, and it's gonna be awesome. Yeah. And the kids, awesome. and awesome. and I think it's really about yeah, planning. Together, you know, yes. the holidays yes. are coming up. Plan yeah. it. Just just plan it and decide who's gonna get what. Yeah. And be, maybe let people know. It's okay. You know, it's like this year. This is what we're planning yep. to do. And then right. you know, we'll hit you on Christmas or we'll hit yeah. you on New Year's. Yeah. You got three major holidays that you can hit people. Yeah. You, you know, know. What's my favorite thing that happens what? when you go home for the holidays. I don't know if you guys get like this, but when I go home for the holidays, I immediately revert from an adult to a 15-year-old <laughs> genie. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You don't change out of your pajamas. <laughs> yeah. You stay just like that. Yeah. For some reason, you can't use indoor voice. You're like, Mom! Yes! Mom! <laughs> Mom, where's the meatloaf? Yes. <laughs> right? And all of a sudden, you just live oh, like Carol. a kid. It's the best oh, feeling Carol. ever. I know. Right? <laughs> I can't yeah. wait for that. <laughs> I love it. It's oh, amazing. Get ready to can't do my wait, laundry, mom and dad.